Yellow, my little filmer dudes. Ha ha ha. Power Rangers, man. Power Rangers. Yellow, my little filmer dudes. My name is Ivan Montero, and thank you for watching everything with me. Yo, I am a giant Power Rangers fan. I am a geek when it comes to Power Rangers. I will talk your ear off when it comes to Power Rangers and Spider Man, but especially Power Rangers. I, <laughs> I love. Power Rangers so much. I did a reaction to the finale of season two of Dino Fury. However, I wasn't able to edit it before the end of the year and I like to stay true to my things. So that is something that most likely we may not see. I, who knows, I may edit it. I don't know, but the point is Power Rangers has released a bunch of new things. <laughs> I already saw the announcement for Cosmic Fury for freaking finally! We're getting a full series Red Ranger that is a female. For 30 years, it kind of seemed like uh, Power Rangers was just a tad bit sexist with making the Red Ranger just just a man, just o only a man. And just sure they swapped, gender swapped a few things here and there, but this season they really took it to the next level. They gender swapped the Green Ranger into a female. Plus, she's the first LGTB character to make a live action debut in a Power Rangers co live action content. And now we're getting Amelia, who is the first female Red Ranger, but she's also the first one to go from pink to red. So she's the second pink Ranger to lead a Power Rangers team after Jen Scott, who was the leader of the Time Force Rangers. I loved Amelia from day one. I thought she was great. I thought she was awesome. I did not expect this. Uh, sudden twist. It is so cool. And then Zato is gonna be the Zenith Ranger. It's really funny because a lot of people are like, wow, he's a beige ranger. <laughs> a lot of people are just like, oh, he could be the cream ranger, the beige ranger, the tan ranger. But no, he is known as the Zenith Ranger. I'm making this joke because in my daily life, I make a ton of brown people jokes because I am brown myself. I'm like the whitest brown man you'll ever meet, but I love but I like making them because it makes everybody else uncomfortable. So when it came out, obviously I was like, wow, wow, of course they made Zato the Beige Ranger. But no, he's called the Zenith Ranger. And I was like, the Zenith Ranger? What, does, what the heck does that mean? I'm sure that's cool. I mean, it sounds cool, but when you type in Zenith definition into Google and you look at the definition, I'm gonna read it to you. According to Google, Zenith means the time at which something is most powerful or successful. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's freaking cool. Because no spoilies for the end, for the end of uh, Dino Fury season two. But if you watch it and you watch the end and you see what happens, it all makes sense. The fact that he is the most, at the time, the most powerful, the most successful. My goodness, Zato is the Zenith Ranger and I could not have chosen, they could not have chosen a better Ranger to be the Zenith Ranger. My goodness, oh, it is so good. <laughs> this is how excited I am. And it says a lot that I am excited about a, two new Power Rangers content coming up and not really excited for Spider-Man 4 in the MCU. I am currently wearing my Spider-Man pop hat too. <laughs> I actually got this one from the from the Pop Funko boxes that they do, the Loot Crate boxes that they do. It was for uh, Homecoming, so I got this hat from that. I've been wearing it ever since. But yes, Power Rangers, they've released those Cosmic Fury things. I saw the video, the suits. They look much better in the concept art in person. Oh, wow. <laughs> they don't really look that good in my opinion. They're very basic. They're incredibly basic, but I wonder, I wonder if they're gonna do some special effects on the suits in post-production because I, it just, I, I cannot imagine that that is what the suits look, that, that is it? That is minimal. That is a little too minimal. That's when minimal becomes lazy. But they also released a sneak peek trailer preview for the Netflix 30th anniversary special. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. They've released the official title for this special and it is called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always. Ah, we're gonna see a ton of OG Power Rangers. We're not gonna see Kimberly Hart in this and I'm kind of disappointed that we're not gonna get her and that Amy Jo jo Johnson didn't take up the offer. I know that Saban and crew and the Power Rangers stuff can and have shorted their people out and people are worth what they're worth, but I feel like it just would have been best to have done it. Either way, they released the trailer, the sneak peek to this. We're gonna go ahead and watch it 
together right here, right now. All right. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sit and action. Oh, I saw them. 28 years since I've been back on the set of Power Rangers. And Zach's kind of coming back. Crazy to think Billy's coming back. It's been that many years. Ah! It's surreal. It's been a great Rocky. Experience. It's been very nostalgic. Cat. They're in the original suit. Green Ranger, saw Green Ranger back there. <laughs> this is a two minute ordeal. It's been really exciting to uh, film a 30 year anniversary special. Let's be honest, the main reason we're here is to see these characters. You guys that we're so lucky to, to be writers on this. I think the audience is gonna be first off Adam. to see a bunch of us. Retro Rangers come back. Directing two actors who were Power Rangers 30 years ago, and actually from the other actors too, Steve and Cat. <laughs> wow. Meeting fans, the one thing they always ask, are Aisha. they ever going to get the band back together? Yes. Yeah. 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 But like... Just getting to work with Walter, obviously we have a long history together. Well, uh, David and I had working with him as Billy and Zach being Zach and Billy as father. It's funny how similar it is, but in a different way. David and Walter, Steven and uh, Green Ranger being working together a long time Jason ago. Jason David Frank. So glad to see them. There were a couple of us. Putties. Oh wow, the putties are back. Together before. Well, we were mighty morphing together, but separate cast. We've never actually worked this together. This is our first this time first working time. together. Wow. Back to the show in general has been. It's just a joy. We're a family of Rangers, so to finally be on a set with them was really interesting. There's so many little Easter eggs. I just think it's going to give the fans everything they want. It's such a. a They're holding back. They're holding back on a lot, lot of guys. The same elements are there. I think what I'm most excited about for the fans and this 30th. They're not showing a ton show of footage. Is for them to for see good reason. us all together and our chemistry, and <laughs> our growth. I think this is the best way we can celebrate. S P A. Space Patrol Alpha. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was it? That was a whole two minutes? No way, that could not have been two minutes. <laughs> wow, wow, what a tease. What a, a friggin' tease. <laughs> that, that was amazing. That teaser didn't really show anything newer than we've already seen before in photos and uh, press releases. However, it was wonderful to actually see motion and footage of of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was always really kind of like weird whenever they made their cameo appearances in uh, mo modern series. It's gonna be so nostalgic. I'm gonna cry. I've actually like, I'm already feeling like slightly emotional. It's been a long day already as it is. <laughs> But this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be wonderful. In any case, I'm gonna go. My sushi media links are in the description below. Are you guys excited for this? If you're not a Power Rangers fan, please DM me, text me, do something, find something and message me and I will be like, here, let me, let's discuss, let's, let's, have a conversation about Power Rangers and let me see if I can get you on board and see if I can get you to watch certain seasons. Because uh, listen, every Power Ranger fan out there acknowledges that certain seasons are unanimously, universally, just terrible. <laughs> They're not really that good. And you watch them just to watch them, just to say you watched all of them, but you won't really ever watch them again. And then there are certain seasons that you can watch f just over and over and over again. This new season is phenomenal. It broke grounds on every level. Anyway, I'm gonna go. And by this season, and by this new season, I mean Dino Fury. In any case, I am really gonna go. <laughs> and my sushi media links are in the description below. By the way, thank you for geeking with me, or at least listening to geek with me. But yes, you've just been modified. <laughs>